to Life Homestead. You may remember Lynn and John from the former channel The Rooster Garden. They had a few hiccups in the city, and so when the opportunity presented itself to move to the country and expand their homestead, like, beyond the limitations of city life and neighbors, they welcomed the challenge. Yeah. After a few medical setbacks, they were rebuilding the homestead better than ever. Right now, they are putting videos out once a month on average because it's just the two of them and all of the animals and all the gardening. That's kind of got them outnumbered. But if you want to see a homestead bouncing back from the ground up and former Shed Wars community members, you have definitely got to get caught up with Back to Life Homestead. And this is the perfect time. You know what? They'll be glad to have you over. Angie Mack's Lil Mites and More. Angie Mack is a lover of the littles. Little birds, little dogs, little reborns. The reborns come from every walk of life and the afterlife. <laughs> Paranormal reborns have popped up frequently in the midst of Angie Mack's Lil Mites and More. Who knew reborns could be created for horror fans? And create she does. Angie has reconstructed different types of dolls and she's given them new lives and identities. She's even dabbled in the medically challenging reborn kits. So whether you love parrots and puppies or you want to jump into the world of reborn babies with both feet, Angie Max Little Mites and More is waiting for you. Check her out. Yogi Hollow Farm, coming to us all the way from South Dakota. Yogi Hollow Farm is a channel that features Lisa and Ryan, their farm family on the journey towards self-sufficiency. Why are they called Yogi Hollow anyway? Are there picnic baskets in South Dakota? <laughs> the channel name is an homage to their old English bulldog, Yogi, who now resides in their hearts. They have Diesel, but Diesel Hollow Farm doesn't quite have the ring to it. Yogi Hollow Farm shows their chicken acrobats also. In fact, the chickens are the talented stars in a lot of Yogi Hollow Farm videos. Sometimes their notoriety and popularity gets them into hot water. <laughs> I know, I know, tasteless humor, Ernie. Tasteless! <laughs> Not as tasteless as a chicken with its feathers still on it, though, right? Yogi Hollow Farm isn't just chickens. The neighborhood deer come over all the time to see the Cooney Cooney pigs. And why wouldn't they? Sherman and Grant are pretty cute. The deer even have cousins who are part of the farm. Well, sort of. The videos on Yogi Hollow Farm also show what's happening in the greenhouse and how they enjoy using the Kratky method. There are also food preservation videos for harvest time and tons of DIYs and unboxings of various useful homesteading products. Community-oriented live streams sum up the family philosophy at Yogi Hollow Farms because connecting with like minds it usually creates new YouTube family. So if you're wanting to see what homesteading is like in a 150-day growing season, or maybe you want to try new things to dehydrate, or you just want to connect with more homesteaders, I encourage you to check out Yogi Hollow Farms. From city to country, restoring a homestead from the ground up, small critters and reborn delights, farm family moving closer to South Dakota's self-sufficient life. Are these your people?